<clears throat> What's going on everybody? Mark here, back with another NoisyPixel.net tech video, unboxing video, review. Today we are diving further into the new line of product from Corsair this holiday season. This time around we have a new set of keys, and that keyboard is... The K60 RGB Pro. Just want to say thank you again, Corsair, for sending us out product. We really appreciate it. And thank you, Noisy Nerds, for continuing to click on these new type of videos on our channel. We really appreciate the support on the tech videos. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button, and we will have more tech videos on new product and existing product out in the near future. But anyways, without further ado, we have to open this guy up with the two tabs at the top. But before we do that, I just want to say they're continuing again. We still have the new box design with the triangles on here. It seems like that's going to be the new consistent route that they're going to go. Other than that, the actual quality of the box is going to be you know, on the cheaper end. Again, this is a budget item for someone looking to get into the gaming hardware ecosystem with the RGB, you know, mechanical switches. And on this mechanical keyboard, we are going to see the cherry switches under the keycaps. And on that note, we're gonna open it up. All right, so the box is just gonna open up from the front here. Just take this little tab out, and it's gonna open up the dust flaps. And I'll do that again so everyone can see. Ooh, right, right there, just like every other Corsair package. Off the top, we do have a pamphlet. And we're just going to pop this keyboard kind of right out here. And then the wire is gonna just slip out of this like thing, that this cardboard contraption they have. And that's pretty much it. They just have a keyboard and just the manual in there. That really is all they give you. Pop that plastic. And here we go. We're gonna take this off the sleeve. We have to feed it through the wire because they made this. This is going to be the first look of the keyboard here. You can see we have a nice little texture on there. I'll have a close up. First impressions clicks. Um, first impressions, honestly, for mechanical keyboard, I don't know how I'm feeling right now. The sound is a little underwhelming in my opinion, but we'll give it a try, maybe it will grow on me. So just thinking about the weight, I would say a medium weight, not too light, but not too heavy either. I have seen keyboards way lighter and way heavier than this. This is kind of right in the middle. We are going to see a pretty long, regular USB 2.0 cable. So this keyboard is going to feature the Cherry Viola keys, and I'm going to pop one off here. And we can kind of see that's going to be on the lower end of the mechanical switches. I'm used to the more responsive switches, and this seems a little bit more of a digital feel, even though it is mechanical. We do have a nice logo at the top right of the board. And before we get into the review, people, we're just going to show you that we do have kickstands on the bottom. We're going to pop those up. And I always look for this on keyboards, because if they really don't have it, or if it's not built upward or something, it, it just feels very awkward. It hurts my wrists, and I really don't buy keyboards without the kickstand or lift. And I'm really upset because I just realized that there is no wrist guard at all. They do not provide you with a wrist guard. So this is just an open bottom keyboard and I tend to find that that hurts my wrist over time. So I think at this price that they won't provide you a wrist guard, I don't know how you guys feel about that. But for me, it's probably not gonna be something that I'm going to really enjoy, but I hope they change my mind. Following up on that, I wanna thank you guys for watching this unboxing portion of the video. There really isn't you know, too much in this box, just keyboard and manual. And we will go over this keyboard in full extent, review it, give you my full opinion on it, and hopefully, if you like it, you guys could pick it up. So stick around for the review. At one point or another, everyone longs for that expensive gaming keyboard that does the fancy bright lights and such. However, sometimes we forget that we are limited on cash, so we wind up buying peripherals that aren't related to gaming at all. This might leave you with a regular keyboard with no RGB lights or software to program buttons with. If only I were there to remind you that for only a little more money, you can get an entry-level gaming keyboard that does the blinky light thing. Ah, uh, yes, the K60 RGB Pro mechanical gaming keyboard from Corsair is here to save the day. But wait, it costs $90? I don't know about this, and I can explain. One look at the K60 RGB Pro, and you'll notice that the design is not that impressive, as it appears to mirror a more general keyboard appearance. It's not ugly, it just looks basic. 
I tend to expect a little swag other than RGB lights and a gaming keyboard, but it has a nice imprint of the Corsair logo and a small K60 print on the bottom left corner. I can appreciate the little things. The texture is also nice, which is used rather than using a smooth gloss look. Corsair continues the rugged look that adds a rough grit feeling to the board. I like the size of the keys, which are comfortable after some use. It is surprisingly satisfying to type with, even though I have used more responsive keyboards. You need to put a bit more pressure with key presses, so you may encounter some issues if you are a light tapper. I found myself having to actively click harder on the keys to register to the screen. This took time to get used to and was a bit of a turnoff. The keys were a bit crammed together vertically on the Y axis, to be exact, leaving my muscle memory a little thrown off, and I had to adjust my grip not to miss a click. I also want to mention that this board does have a very springy feel to it, and not in the right way. I audibly will hear a spring-like retracting noise, almost like a plastic toy from the early 2000s. It's not a significant problem due to the sound's subtle nature, but it's there. Corsair also did not provide a keycap removal tool, and I feel like I can snap these keys in half if I rip them the wrong way. Moving on to RGB quality, I do like the color range capabilities of the K60 RGB Pro. The brightness seems to hold up enough to provide a wide range of the sRGB spectrum. The lights can definitely be brighter, but I just like my brightness. We see a number pad on this keyboard, which is a plus for me, and we do have light indicators for caps lock and more, which is also nice to see. The kickstands on the bottom of the board hold up well and don't seem to fold up when I accidentally shift the board. Weirdly enough, I also find the white blob gel capsules under the keycaps as an enjoyable aesthetic. Something is endearing about the way it absorbs the RGB lights, and it looks clean. When it comes to performance, the K60 RGB Pro is affected by the cost. I encountered some hindered speeds and response times between the thicker key presses and the viola mechanical keys. I just felt like this keyboard wanted to slow me down. It's tough to notice this when playing certain games, but I find it easier to type. On the other hand, this keyboard offers no programmable macro keys other than your basic function keys. Still, it's possible to override any keyboard key into a macro with the IQ software. And don't forget, you can even make profiles for specific games or scenarios, so you don't cripple your keyboard. I wish they had a few standalone macros, but that would add to the board's cost and size. When it comes down to it, this keyboard will get the job done as the performance could be a lot worse. If you are itching to get into the RGB ecosystem within the Corsair line of products, this is a viable item for your holiday gift list. It won't break the bank, and it will give you that RGB flair you always wanted. Side note, the cable on the keyboard seems slightly flimsy compared to other keyboards, as it is just a regular cable made out of rubber. Make sure you don't accidentally shred it. I feel like any keyboard that doesn't come with a wrist guard is a no-go for me. But I can't just ostracize every board off from one factor. For the average gamer looking to spruce up their desk without hurting their wallet, the K60 RGB Pro will offer exactly what you require. However, after some time, you're going to want something more robust that will deliver a quicker response. The price is a bit high for a budget-friendly keyboard, but those mechanical keys and RGB settings may be worth it for the weekend PC gamer. Noisy Pixel is giving the Corsair K60 RGB Pro wired keyboard a B-. Thank you for watching. Noisy Pixel is a group of gamers who work hard to deliver news, reviews, previews, and more. Please subscribe to keep up with all of our future content. See you, nerds.